Hey guys, Nugamir, and today we're going to focus on stories of confessions. Appreciate you guys hitting the subscribe and the like button, and let's get rolling. This one's titled, My Girlfriend's Little Sister is Attracted to Me. I'm a 24-year-old male, and my girlfriend is a 23-year-old female. We have been dating for three years already, and we have known each other since we were 14. She is the love of my life, and I want to spend the rest of my life with her, and everything is perfect. The thing is, my girlfriend also has a little sister, who is 18, who is quite fond of me and is always hugging me and giving me compliments. Initially, I didn't think much of it because I think of her like family. But over time, these touches and compliments got more and more appropriate each time telling me of how she wouldn't mind stealing me from her sisters as a joke, or ask me to tell her if her swimsuits, which are thongs, looks good on her, and hugging me while rubbing her whole body in me for minutes. The main part was about two weeks ago, when she came home drunk, crying in my apartment. My girlfriend, who is not home, so I asked her what was wrong while sitting on the sofa, she told me she broke up with her boyfriend, and I tried to comfort her by telling her the classic lines, Oh, don't worry, there's plenty of fish out there in the sea. Then, the next thing unexpectedly happened. She threw herself on top of me while crying and trying to kiss me, so I had to push her off me, and she cried even more, telling me that she wants to be together with me and that she is jealous that her sister got me and not her. She wants me and loves me than ever before passing out. So I carried her to her bed and called my girlfriend that her sister is here and is passed out from drinking too much and because she broke up with her boyfriend. I didn't tell my girlfriend about what happened that night yet because I'm afraid I don't want to strain their relationship. My girlfriend and her sister are very close to each other. They're like best friends. And they have always been, and I don't want to ruin that for them. But I feel so uncomfortable, and I feel like I cheated on my girlfriend by not telling her what happened. Sometimes I think it's my fault that she feels this way. I don't know what to do. So everyone, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of what would you do if you were in this situation? For our next story today, it's titled, I gave my dad a card and he hugged me for the first time in years. Today, I am an 18 year old female and I made a card for my dad because it's Father's Day, at least where I live, and I currently have a smallpox, so I didn't have time to really get anything or make anything. So it was very last minute and I decided to make my dad a card that said, Happy Father's Day, Dad. You gave me life and now I give you this folded, decorated piece of paper. Thank you for being my dad. I love you. Very simple, right? Well, in my family, we don't express out how much we love each other. We don't hug or say I love you. Nothing like that and I'm not even sure why we don't do this. Anyways, I gave my dad the card and he looked really happy, opened it and laughed, hugged me and said he loved me too. I was a bit shocked since I don't remember the last time my dad hugged me or the last time he said he even loved me. I hugged him back and laughed and that was it. A few hours ago, now I'm feeling very emotional. I love my dad so much and hearing him say that and hugging me means a lot. He's the best dad out there and I really should say that to him more. It might sound stupid to people who hug their parents every day and express their love for each other often. But to me, this is big, and I wanted to share it with someone. Happy Father's Day to all dads. For our next story, it's titled, My husband's gone on a work trip, and I realize I'm happier without him. Me, a 30-year-old female, and my husband, a 32-year-old male, had our first baby six months ago. We both have good paying jobs, Mine pays slightly more than my husband's, but my husband's job is fun and exciting, but however, it requires him to travel often. Mine is boring and unfulfilling, 
but I took it because it allows me the flexibility to work and take care of our newborn son. The time has finally come that my husband has to take a work trip. He's gone for over a month. He's abroad where I have little communication with him. I have been dreading it. How could I possibly handle waking up at 4 a.m. every day, getting ready, drive my son to daycare, working nine hours, picking my son up, driving home, taking him and the dog out of the house, and then completing my schoolwork, all on my own without any support and never without having any breaks. Well, it's been over a week, and I can tell you that I've been handling it very easily. I picked up my son and came home, and the house is still clean from the night before. I have no one else to clean up afterwards. I take my son and my dog for a walk. We walk as long and as far as we want to with no one texting me asking me when I'll be back or when I'm making dinner. I give my son a bath, taking my time to play with him with his bath toys without anyone telling me to wrap it up and that I'm wasting my time. I can eat whenever I want, watch what I want on the TV, and go wherever I want. And I enjoyed it as much as I had in a long while, cuddling my son in bed with a baby and a dog. No one looking over my shoulder, criticizing my inefficiency without offering any help, or emotionally isolating me then telling me that I should be in a better mood. I texted him and told him I miss him, the baby misses him, I can't wait for him to be home, but the truth is, I don't. I feel happy and at ease for the first time in a long time. I'm actually enjoying being a mother. I can feel confident I can do this alone. Now. I have to think of how I would tell him and when. Sounds like she just gained some insight of her relationship. Let me know in the comments section below. Our next story is titled, I pretended to be a guy's girlfriend to make him more popular. I feel sorry for this guy. He was extremely socially awkward and he is very strict on religion. He has Asperger's, which makes him hard for him to form any connections with other people. I had no interest in him, and to be honest, he would have a hard time dating a girl outside of his faith. Only reason I agreed to pretend to be his girlfriend was because his family was very nice to me and they let me use their ATV. Anyways, I went to some church events and I pretended I was all over him. I was a date for him to a church dance. I even kissed him in the middle of the dance floor so everyone could see us. To make things worse, he told me about this girl in his church circle that rejected him rudely. So, at a church event, I subtly degraded her. We were playing ultimate frisbee, and I kept making jokes about how short her arms and her legs are, and how uncoordinated she was, since I am very tall and athletic. We also make some fake photos of us doing stuff together like hiking so we could use them for later on. Then after a few activities, I stopped going. It worked well for him. He had no problems finding a date after that, and he got married to a girl in his church. As far as I know, he never told anyone about this, including his wife. After that, he became kind of a narcissist. Apparently, he talks to girls like he was doing them a favor by talking to them. I learned he told people that he rejected me because I refused to join his church. I do feel badly for him using me as a get back at girls who rejected him. On the other hand, I feel like a superhero that I helped him. The look on people's faces when they saw us like, you can't get a girl like that. That kind of look was priceless. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Appreciate the subscribe, the likes. Check out my other stories on my channel and I'll see you guys next time.